Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today let's talk about in the beginning. What does it mean by the verse in Genesis 1.1? And we are going to compare that with the John 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, this is the very, very first verse in Genesis 1.1 I believe this is in fact the title of the whole page the whole verse the whole book in Genesis 1 this is like uh, already summarized for you that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and then in the Genesis 1.2 and so on they actually explain what God had created so this is just a summary in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth so that means God already created everything and then in relation to the John 1.1 when it is said that in the beginning was the word the word was with God and the word was God. So if, if I were to make a parable of this verse, in the beginning was apple. The apple was with God and the apple was God. It doesn't make sense, correct or not? But the Christians claim that the word is Jesus. So let's translate it to be in the beginning was Jesus Jesus was with God and Jesus was God so I really don't understand comprehend what the Christian mean when they claim that Jesus was in the beginning with God okay so let's get back to Genesis 1.1. I have already told you that God already created everything which includes Jesus. Jesus was created in as a spirit. That's why even in the Quran, Allah said that Jesus is his spirit. That means he's the spirit of God. The Ruh Allah. So we have no problem dealing with the word Ruh Allah or the Spirit of God. But we have problem when the Christian claim that uh, God and Jesus were the plural form of Ehad. Ehad. Which they claim to be Elohim. Yes, Elohim is a plural masculine form of God. But if in Hebrew the word Elohim is still considered as a singular form of God. I mean there was only one God. Okay, now let's get back to what do we understand by these two verses which is actually not contradictory but only that the Christian misconstrued the meaning of the verses. Many Christians claim that Jesus' word was in the beginning with God and then this is the revelation in John 17.3. Jesus clarified that God is the only true God. So even though Jesus was in the beginning with God, and then due to the misunderstanding and the misinterpretation by the Christian, now John 17, 3 had clarified that God is the only true God. If you have the word the only true God, you cannot say Jesus was a God too. 
Okay, you can say Jesus was the God, but Jesus was not the only true God. You can say Jesus was the true God, but when uh, Jesus Himself confessed, declared, professed that God is the only true one God, that means God had created Jesus. To be in the beginning with him, okay. That is the correct understanding of the verse in Genesis 1.1 and John 1.1. It's only that the Christian, due to their obsession with literal words, they tend to get literally everything. They will take it as a literal word for word that Jesus is God, but Jesus is not God, as he had already confessed in John seventeen three. Okay, so please be guided accordingly. Thank you very much.